Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing session. We'll be discussing the partial invoicing feature on job cards within the job costing module of Sage Trend Evolution. Now, when allocating costs onto a job card, costs can be allocated via four different sources. These include stock items, general ledger, accounts payable and payroll. Now, you may encounter a scenario whereby a servicing task or specific job may run over a lengthy period of time. And you as an organization may want to invoice the customer for the portion of work completed while the job card process is ongoing. For this type of scenario, you can use the partial invoicing feature within the job costing module. Let's see how to implement this particular feature. So I'm firstly going to go to job costing transactions, job cards, and I'm going to open up a new job. I'll set the state of the job to active and select a customer. And I'm just going to link this job card to a specific project. And now I'm going to be adding the line items that are going to be used on this particular job card. So I'm just going to add a couple of stock items. And I'll add a general ledger financial line. And a labor rate onto the job card. Right, so I've got my information on the job card. There's some stock lines, there's a general ledger financial line, and a payroll rate. So I'm going to just uh, save, process, and close this transaction. And I'll print the picking slip to allocate the transactions, to pick the items to be used in the job card. And we now have our job card in, in the active status. And let's just go look at our work in progress report for that job card. Preview. And we've got our details, job card number, active status, and all the current costs that have been allocated to the job card, which are now currently in work in progress. So it may be a scenario whereby, although the work has started, you may want to invoice the customer for the portion of work that's already been completed. And we'll then use the partial invoicing feature. I'm going to go back to job cards and edit my job card. And now I'm going to simply specify the line items to be invoiced. So I'll invoice some stock lines as well as the general ledger. So at this particular point, I'm going to invoice the customer for these particular line items. And I'm going to say save pro. And 
there we have our invoice. So I've got my information there with details on what I'm going to be invoicing the customer for, which is the portion of the work where you complete the job card. And I can then generate the invoice for the customer. If we then revert back to our work in progress report for that job card, And you'll notice is that the line items of invoice are now set to a complete status and there's been movement on the work in progress on this particular job card. If we then go look at the customer transaction, I'm going to go through to customers, uh, inquiries, transaction inquiries. And there are the transaction, invoice number, the job reference, and the value. And I can just go right click on the transaction, go to the source option. And there we have details of the job card for that customer with the invoice lines which have already been, or the lines which have already been invoiced on the job card. Right, so if we revert back now to our job card, and at this particular point, we may need to add some additional items onto the job card. So I'll just go to our new line and we'll add some additional items which may be required to complete the job card. Right, I'll say save process and close to repeat those lines. And we then go back to work in progress report for our job card. Right, so we've got the additional line items on a job card and the information about the job. Now at this particular point the physical job may have been completed so if I revert back to my job card I'm now going to complete the job card and invoice the customer for the remaining line items, set the job status to be complete and I'm going to process the final invoice and select to invoice all the uninvoiced transaction lines and save process and close. And there we have the job card with the remainder of items that have been invoiced for the customer. If I now look at my work in progress report, you'll see that the job card is now set to a complete status. All the lines have been marked as completed and the work in progress balance has now been cleared as a job has been completed. So as you can see, the partial invoicing feature allows you to invoice a certain portion of the job card while the job card process is ongoing and then at a certain point when the physical job has been completed, process a final invoice to invoice remaining items on the job card. Thank you for watching our presentation today. It's over and out from me and goodbye.